That's right, I'm not in my uh, not in my shed anymore. Hello there, I'm another Magento dev. In this video, I wanted to just go over how to install a Magento 2 that you receive from somebody else. So what I mean by that is you're working possibly on a Bitbucket repo or Git repo feel you a, a, a task to do the development on the, on a site and it's been started by someone else they've installed it uh, they might have installed some plugins uh, some modules they've made some changes they maybe started developing the theme that type of thing and now it's you know you're on it so it's time for it's time for you to jump in so this is from the perspective of someone downloading Magento via Bitbucket I'm using Bitbucket here um, and just just get getting it up and running really um, on your own environment now I'm using as usual uh, MAMP and uh, MAMP Pro sorry and I'm using um, Composer generally to, to, to get these things going now there, there's a bit of a, a cheat in this in that I have already set up this site once and um, what happened was the repository got so messed up at my end and my colleagues end that the Fed developer was working on it fixed it and, and got it working because he'd done the most work on it so but right you do you you get it fixed um and then we'll just clone the, the repository again and basically we'll take it from there so what i've done is i've cloned a brand new essentially a brand new version of the repository um and this is what you can see on the screen now so i've automatically cloned it on, on master branch and i know for a fact that master branch doesn't have all of the um, all of the files re required uh, for this install to work because if you look in the app folder we've not got um, we've not got anything in there so this by the way what I've got on the screen is my ZSH uh, RC file and I found this a useful um, reference a useful um, tool to be able to um, cover all bases in terms of a Magento install so I've got some that are possibly out of date and need upgrading but in, a, in a order to interact on them um, with them I've got a reference to PHP 7.2 there my general PHP my normal PHP for BHP being Magento commands for example is 7.3 and then I've got a special one there for 7.4 sometimes I have to use this one for actually installing 2.4s and running Composer on 2.4s because you get some you get some conflicts with 7.3 I found so it's handy having this and these all link to the same P the PHP versions that come with my MAMP and you can see the paths here um, ZSHRC is brilliant it's really easy to use and um, you can download it off the internet I'll put a I'll put a link in in the description uh, where you can get this from it's a really nice command line that, that I'm you um, you know skin if you like but it also comes with the ability a bit like bash but um, ability to edit sim links I've got one for my sequel there which is also now pointing to man um, so let's um, let's switch branches I'll close that down for now uh, Let's jump onto develop branch and see what we get. Okay, we're on develop branch now. And it's, there you go. So I've got theme, I've got all the bits and bobs I need. Notice the vendor folder's empty. This is because on this install, I'm gonna to need to run Composer. We recently upgraded this site. We started it on 2.4.1. And then we ran an upgrade for 2.4.2 um, and also we've installed a load of modules as well which hopefully are gonna are gonna come through for me uh, when I run my composer so it should be dead straightforward this should be a short video it should end after I've ran this um, and then run the big four commands let's see Wait, I'll just just see what happens so PHP so this is how I would go about it now my man always runs out of memory I've touched on this before so I always just as precaution And then I set it to about eight gig. If you've watched any of my tutorials before, you you see that I generally uh, use Composer like this. Ah, and I've also I always forget I should I should remember um, my path to my Composer, but I, I never do. I'm lazy. I do it every time. Uh, there we go. So we'll just borrow this again, and I won't remember it for next time. Um, and then I'm going to run Composer 
install and you would always run install because you haven't got a vendor folder and as you can see you can see it here slapping all the Magento stuff that's required into into the Magento folder there uh, into the vendor folder there a lot of it going into the Magento folder though so we'll let this run so this is going to take a while just to sort of reiterate something 2.4.2 Magento is now compatible with Composer 2 I'm not running Composer 2 though um, on this occasion I'm not going to jump make that leap up yet um, feel free to, to leave a message in the comments if you are using Composer 2 and maybe let us know any experiences that you've had with it so far any any issues that you might have come across it would be interesting to know uh, but I'm not using it just yet so um, what do you need for this to work um, it isn't just a case of, of, of running Composer um, you need also the media folder if you're going to get it working locally with um, with with media with with images uh, so so usually you would maybe ask think that from the server if we're working on a site that already is in production um, if if we're not if this site that I'm working on here is a Magento 1 to Magento 2 upgrade so or replatforming so we, I did take the, a dump of the media folder from um, the Magento 1 and then let Magento 2 do its business and create the cache folders so that that's one thing that you need to, to be careful of is that if your images are missing you're going to need that folder um, and those th because those things don't you would never send the media folder to the repository uh, what else is missing from the repository well the env file is a key thing that's missing from the repository and as you can see it's not in there so I'll just pop this in here so that's one thing we need to remember is to pop your M folder in um, and that's that's pretty much about it you, you know your M, folder, your M file is connected to your local database or should be then connected to your local database um, and also well I say, that, I say that's the only thing obviously you're going to need the database as well you're going to need the version of the database that all your colleagues are working on really um, I've touched on this before to uh, with with uh, another tutorial about uh, managing upgrade scripts in order to build data and build databases so that that's a good if you check out that video because that, that explains how you can make a good effort to keep your um, repositories your repository is sort of in sync with your data if you like so um, I've mentioned before if if a, a developer is asked to create a static block or something as part of what they're doing on the front end uh, it's handy for them to create an upgrade script there's some on this site here look um, to create an upgrade script or a setup script to be able to Im input that information directly into your database when you run setup upgrade if you have a different version of that um, static block for example so there's there's a few ways you can deal with that but essentially in terms of getting this set up and running you do need uh, a copy of the database so now that's installed I know that I've got a database already because as I say I'm repairing this is a this is more of a, a reinstall of, a, of something that I had that existed rather than a um, brand new so all I'm going to run now is my usual and I'm also going to then disable the cache so we'll chuck this in and and as I say the most important things are you've got to have a database, you've got to have an env and you've got to have a, um, a media folder to, to really get the experience of the site and, and match it up with your colleagues and every, as long as everyone's um, got those three things the repo will do the rest and keep everything else up to date and as I say that that little bit of icing on the cake would be using upgrade for your team to be comfortable using upgrade scripts to be able to keep for everybody to keep their data uh, their core data if you like the stuff that developers would add in sync if you're already working on a site what's in production and you know your client are make uh, you know are making changes then that's a little bit more tricky to track you're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to do that. You have to manage that process with with the client. Um, every time, I uh, and it's good that I always forget it because I can always then um, remind you guys. 
got to have Elastic Search running because it's a Magento 2.4 hour above. Um, so setup upgrade won't run with that Elastic Search running. I do that on purpose. Another thing I'll touch on real quick is my MAMP setup. So MAMP Pro is really good. Created a host already. It's linked to a database. So all I'll need to do once this is up and running is yeah okay see what happens fingers crossed it should come back I'm good so yeah so essentially I've picked this up another developer has two other developers have been working on it I can see all their changes um, it's all looking bob on yeah so that's that's it really that's pretty it's pretty easy the key things to remember you need a database you need your own m file because that will get sent to the repo composer installs your friend it'll just bung everything into the, the vendor folder that you require um, and once that's run it should it should pick up everything that you needed with regards to composer uh, you know the configing composer all installation a full installation of of modules if, if other developers have installed them indeed installed them using composer which they should be uh, where possible you want to be using composer for exactly this reason you know the the, the benefits are, are obvious there you know you can't miss anything it's just going to install the latest version of all the files and folders modules a lot into your installation um, into your local version so you're all going to match and you're all going to be able to work in harmony um, yeah so it was just a quick one just to go through that because sometimes it can be a bit confusing people think that I might need to install Magento from scratch or you know or, or they might need to you know download the vendor folder which in emergencies you, you might do but if, if particularly when a site's in development from scratch everyone should be using Compose. Every, your whole team should be following the same process uh, and, and the linchpin in that is, is Bitbuck, Bitbucket or, or Git so is, is your repo um, and as long as everyone's using the repo correctly and um, you're not going to get any uh, conflicts really so yeah I hope that was helpful and um, I'll see you soon